Hey, good morning. It's uh, Monday, October 19th. Really good to have you back. Um, I think the phone is functioning again, so we should be back on track here. It was eight years ago today that God purposed, before creation began, to give Ruth the fullest joy of her life and the desire of her heart, and that's to be with him. And those of you that know her, my wife, uh, understand just the special person that she was. But what made her special was what my son David mentioned at, at her memorial service. David said, it was not the things that mom did that made her special. It's Jesus Christ that is special. And Ruth was committed to that, and she was committed to the Bible, applying the Bible to life as the best way to live that out. And I can't think of any better way to remember her life than to give you a summary of the last page of her curriculum goals about applying Christian knowledge and skills to life. So this is what she said. From beginning to end, education must remain focused on its role to teach for life and ministry. Students must learn truth, and students means you and me is life going on because we are, we are all disciples. Jesus calls us disciples, so we are lifelong students. That's our job description from Jesus Christ. Students must learn truth. They must continually look for ways to use what they learn and not only to use it, but to use it to benefit others. This is huge. We don't learn for ourselves, we learn to benefit others, God and our neighbor. Discernment is a skill which must be practiced and learned in every situation. Jay Adams defines spiritual discernment as the divinely given ability to distinguish God's thoughts and ways from all others. All the education in the world is useless if a graduate, if a student, if a Christian cannot think clearly and biblically. Careful, logical reasoning based on true presuppositions, true biblical presuppositions, must characterize everyone who's a student of life and of the Bible. Therefore, a Christian concerned for these things must be able, no, more than that, eager to apply his knowledge and skills to life. Instruction shall be given before they leave school so that self, for self-education for life will continue for the rest of their life. This biblically educated Christian will evaluate the signs of the times with biblical discernment he will know how to study and grow to meet new situations. He will adapt himself to meet the challenges of his milieu, of his life. Most of all, this biblically centered Christian will be known by his life of service to others. His education must orient him to the goals of righteous ministry. Biblically educated students biblically educated Christians, those who love the scripture more, will love God and love their neighbors with all their knowledge and all their skills. Ruth's words here distinguish for us all the false pretenders who want us to learn their ways, their methods, their tools, What Ruth is calling us to do is to take, yes, to be students, to know life, to do well, to learn your skills, craft, jobs, professions, well, as well as you possibly can. But what distinguishes you is not the way you perform, not how much money you make, not how many degrees you have, not how much success you have, but how well do you give yourself to others? First to God, and then to your neighbor. Are you oriented around others? 
doing well. Understanding a sacrifice is not to get, but to show the love that's been given to you. See, that's what Ruth is calling us to, because it's what the Bible calls us to. And again, those of you that knew her, understand this is this what she's about. She was not about pleasing herself. She was about giving her life to care for others. So our thoughts must orient us towards goals of righteous ministry. If you want to be faithful to what God's called you to, then as Ruth challenges me today and you, we will be known by a life of service to God and others. Does that characterize you this day? Does it characterize me? If we think on those things, we will honor God, but also uh, make Ruth very happy because that's what she was about. That's what her life was about. And that's a good thing for each of us. And, uh, we'll be back tonight, Lord willing. Thanks so much for being a part of these uh, videos. Lord bless you and you have a great day. Bye-bye.